Namaste friends. Our festivals and their connected rituals have tremendous meaning and depth spiritually. If we are ready to understand them closely. Today we will take a look at the spiritual meaning of the festival of colors Holi. The powerful demon king Hiranyakashap wants everyone to worship him as the ruler of the world. But to his frustration, his own son Prahlad turns out to be a staunch devotee of Lord Mahavishnu. The cruel father Hiranyakashap decides to kill his own son Prahlad. He tries to kill him in different ways. But by the powers of devotion, Mahavishnu protects him every time. He tries poison, starvation, throwing him into a well, throwing him off a cliff and many other such measures. But he fails in all attempts because Lord Mahavishnu was protecting his devotee Prahlad. Then the king calls his sister Holika for help. Holika has a boon that she would not be affected by fire. So she carries little Prahlad into a bonfire, hoping that he will become a victim to the fire. But here too, Prahlad gets protected. It is Holika that loses her magical power and gets burned, while Prahlad escapes without any damage. Hiranyakashap eventually becomes so angry and upset and asks Prahlad, why is he praying to Lord Mahavishnu all the time? To which Prahlad answers that Vishnu is all-pervading and omnipresent. And so, Vishnu is the Supreme Lord. To which Hiranyakashap points out to a nearby pillar and asks, if his Vishnu is in this pillar also? Prahlad replies, yes, he is there everywhere. The demon king hits the pillar with his mace and to surprise the pillar cracks with a thundering noise and Vishnu appears from inside as the Narasimha avatar, the man-lion form. Narasimha catches hold of Hiranyakashap, places him on his thighs, tears his belly with his terrifying nails and kills the demon king. Prahlad replaces his father as the king and rules wisely thereafter. Friends, what is the significance of this story? What message is it trying to convey to us? Almost all stories are some representation of good winning over evil, isn't it? But in this case, this is a father-son story. Now that's a bit unusual. So what's the learning here? See, Hiranyakashap is the father representing the past, whereas Prahlad is the son representing the future. The past is a demon, wicked, self-centered, painful, and the future is devotional righteous, beautiful and abundant. So the message is whatever and however the past would have been, you can design, plan and look forward to a beautiful future. Interestingly, the word holy in Hindi means holy, that is the one which has already happened, which is in the past, it's already gone, it's not coming back. So look forward to a bright future from here on. The fire in which Holika who represented demon power and wickedness was burnt is the fire of knowledge and wisdom where one should burn away all negative traits like jealousy, hatred and ignorance that one has cultivated in the past. The colors indicate that you have a choice. You can color yourselves with any which way, with any color of your choice to create a new you a better you. Our land is rich with many such stories. You could be a robber and a criminal like Valmiki was, but nobody, trust me, nobody stops you from becoming a saint and a great man now. Such are the examples of Angulimal and Tulsidas too. Many a times we allow our past to dictate what our future should be like. But it need not be that way. Your future need not have the same trace of darkness and negativity that your past had. 
you can destroy the demons of your past and look forward towards a brighter future. That's the message of Holi. The message of the bonfire and the message of colors. Maybe that's why Holi falls on the full moon day. The day when moon is able to reflect the light fully from sun. And we have a clear vision even during night. The moon is our mind and it is fully bright during Holi and is able to reflect the light from sun which represents our consciousness. Wish you a very happy Holi. And remember, Holi, drop the bad in the past. It's already over. And all the very best for the future. Thank you.